So Polaroid just announced one of their most advanced cameras of all time. It's the sharpest lens that they've ever created. And for the first time ever, we finally have manual control settings built into the camera. Introducing the all new Polaroid i2. After more than four years in the making and with Polaroid working with some of the most advanced lens experts from Olympus, they've been able to finally create a way of allowing us to take our Polaroid photos with more creative control and full creative freedom. And I'm excited to tell you all about it. So right now I'm surrounded by places that stemmed my love for filmmaking and photography. I'm revisiting my old hometown roots and bringing along some very special people as well as the i2 with me. So I decided to challenge myself and look at everything with an entire new perspective through the lens of the Polaroid i2. I'm also being accompanied by some of my best friends and favorite photographers that I know. My name is Vicasso and I'm a fashion portrait photographer based in LA. My name is Jake Tovar. I'm a portrait wedding photographer. My name's Hector and I'm a portrait and landscape photographer. They have never seen this camera before. With that being said, let's start shooting. Ooh. Is that real? What? Oh my god. Oh, it feels nice. It like... does feel really good. Mm. Better than my actual eyesight. Oh. There's aperture, aperture blades. blades. Oh my god, I love it. So now that my friends have finally gotten to see the Polaroid i2, it was now time for me to walk them through some of the settings on how to properly shoot with it. So the new Polaroid i2 has six different modes in it, including the built-in manual mode. It's got the integrated viewfinder as well as an external display with exposure meters in both of them. This gives you maximum control on how you want to properly expose your shot without ever having to look away from the camera. For the first time, Polaroid also designed a continuous three lens focus system compared to their hyper-focus two lens system on their other existing cameras. This gives you the sharpest image that you can get from a Polaroid camera. Wherever you aim, no two pictures are the same. Wow. Not to mention, you can also go all the way up to an f8, which is perfect for bokeh and portraits. Which an f8 is actually equivalent to an f2.8 on a 35mm system in terms of the depth of field, due to the camera's sensor size being closer to a medium format camera. And no better way to really show you guys than taking it to one of my favorite locations ever, which are the Rose Gardens. Let me adjust my f-stop. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Got it. Add the double exposure mode flower first, and then I'll get a photo of B301. Sick. Taking double exposure. I think that one of the nicest things about shooting on Polaroid Instant Film is actually being able to get the instant gratification of seeing your photos develop right in front of your eyes. Shooting on this really is an entire new learning curve in itself, but now also for the first time ever, you're able to use any kind of Polaroid film that you want from iType to 600 and even SX70, which has a much more lower ASA. Therefore, you're given a lot more flexibility than you ever have before with Polaroid film. We really wanted to experiment a lot more, so we decided to go out and shoot some low light stuff. We're gonna set up the Polaroid i2 on a tripod and be shooting in shutter priority mode. We're gonna see if we can do some slow shutter speeds as well as some long exposures. Let's keep on shooting. Okay. Oh, dang. Yeah. Nice. So after a nice long day of shooting tons and tons of Polaroid photos, we then decided to go back to my childhood home and then take portraits of my grandparents. I wanted to challenge myself and instead of just shooting away, I tried to do some self portraits as well as just capture them in their own creative spaces. You wanna see this table? I make this table and these are Polaroid pictures. You make this table? Yeah. Oh my God. I make this table. This is a Polaroid picture too, and this too. And funny enough, when I was a kid, my grandparents used to use a Polaroid camera to take photos of us, but this time it was my turn to take photos of them. They were also so impressed on how different the Polaroid cameras have changed over time, as this is the first time ever where we finally can have the flexibility of shooting with whatever type of Polaroid film and actually having built-in manual controls for the first time.
And of course, no better way to really come back and visit home than actually taking a photo walk around the neighborhood with my friends. So right now we are in the suburbs of Byron where my parents live and we're just gonna film a little bit and do some street photography, take some portraits using the Polar Eye 2. He's out here shooting. It's the slow it's shooting. Like, it's so nice it says. Yes, sir. No film, okay? That's no film, right okay? <laughs> Photography can very often become just another quick disposable moment, and especially in our modern and digital world. But here we really were just forced to slow down and take the time to shoot our photos through an entire new perspective. Overall, it really does just make you appreciate a lot more of the smaller details of a final photograph. With each one coming out completely different from one another, and sometimes they turn out how you expect and sometimes they don't. But no matter what, and regardless of the outcome, it really does just make you slow down and embrace all of the imperfections. And on top of that, sometimes your favorite photo really is the one that you'd least expect. And last but not least, you just can't miss the opportunity to take pictures in my mama's garden. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching this video. The Polaroid i2 is officially out now and if you guys want to learn a whole lot more on how to properly shoot with it, as well as just get a breakdown of every single shoot mode of the camera, then I actually did a full length how to course with Polaroid that I will link in the description of this video. Honestly, I love this camera so much and as a photographer who also loves shooting on medium format and 35 millimeter film, finally getting the opportunity to shoot on a very advanced and professional Polaroid camera is really just a huge upgrade from anything I've ever seen Polaroid do before. I really think this camera is gonna be perfect for any professional photographers out there or if you really just want to dabble in a much more advanced way of shooting on Polaroid instant film. Thank you so much to my amazing friends for helping me make this entire project. I truly could have not done it without them. And last but not least, thank you so much for Polaroid for making this project possible. Super duper stoked about this camera and I just can't wait to see other photographers out there making incredible stuff with this thing. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.